We've seen how to set up a command that we can run um, using the nohup command. So you can say nohup, some other command or series of commands, and then run it in the background, and then we can log out and come back at some other time to see the results of our uh, of our program. So that's usually done when you have to run a program that takes a lot of time and you're not sh and you don't want to stay logged in. Well, there's another way to do that. We haven't talked about it yet, but here it is. Um, so this is running commands at a later time. So this is even more um, even better than the nohop command in that we can run this, we can schedule this for example 2 in the morning or some other time when let's say the system that we're using is not that busy. So the basic idea is the at command is used to run some other command or a list of commands or a shell script and usually that's what uh, it's used for is you run a shell script that consists of other commands and that gets you can specify what later time you want to run that. On some Unix systems, there may be restrictions on who can use the at command. I believe the live DVD, you can all use it. Um, the system administrator can will often limit access to this at command, and there are some system files that say whether, you know, who, say who is authorized to use it and who is denied the use of the at command. So I'm guessing that's not going to be a problem for this for for the live DVD you may want to check on uh, your specific, if you're using something other than the live machine, check check your machine. Okay, so let me just go through the basic, uh, a basic use of that, and then we'll look at how we specify time and all that. So first I'm going to find out what the time is. Okay, so right now it is 5.55 p.m. So a quick way to do this would be at, and then I have to use the 24-hour clock, 17, I'll give it a few more minutes, 57, and then I have to say today because I want to do it right now. Oops, I guess that's already, it's too late. Oops, I, had the, I just had the wrong time, 17. I'll give it one more minute. 17, 50, uh, 57, that's good. Alright, so if you specify time in the past, you'll just get an error message like that. Alright, so you might see this too, and I have seen this in the past. And so apparently, let's, so let's fix this. Slash var, slash spool, slash cron, slash at jobs oops. oops I have misspelled it permission denied so if you get that you can do sudo there's nothing in there so now let's make that and a good way to make an empty file is to use the touch command it, although that's not what it's for oops sudo touch slash var slash spool slash cron slash at jobs you might run into this I usually works but every once in a while the live DVD gives me trouble like this okay so we've created that file and oops, we should have used the minus A option because that is a hidden file. There it is. And so now let's check the date. 757 or I mean sorry, 557 already. So let's make it 558 today. Oops. Alright, so now we will have to change permissions, and if you haven't seen how to do this, you will, this is part of chapter 14. I want to make this playable, readable, by, and executable by everyone. Probably don't need all of that, but 
tool slash cron slash at job slash all right so let's see so we will talk about this later if we haven't seen it already but the 777 sets all of these bits to read write execute for uh, the owner the group and everybody in the whole world on that computer so now let's try date seven five i'm sorry 558 so let's try it for 559 today okay no problem so we'll say ls minus l this is the command we want to execute a minute from now and i'm only doing it because i want to see the output let's say that so the thing to remember is that the output of these commands will not show up on the screen so i'm done with my commands i'm going to hit control d and there it is there's my job job number one so now I can say at minus C oops, one. Oh, it's done already. So let's see if it worked. So what I did was I said at 559, which was a minute from when I started today. Um, execute this command, put the output into this file, execute this command, put the output into this other file. I hit control D because I was done with this list of commands. And it was ready to execute it. Oh, right then. Or I, I must have been just a few seconds before the time that I asked for. But if you use the at minus c and it's still to be run it'll tell you some information about about this job this particular job is done i know that because it says it cannot find the job i believe if you see ls minus l you will get this output which was created at 559 1759 cat it and you should see exactly what we asked for which is the output of ls minus l and then pwd okay so that's a nice simple use of at of course it's not that useful what you really want to use it for is to run long programs um, maybe at some time that's more convenient okay so let's take a look at what are the parts of at so we have to specify the time, the date, and then the commands. The, the time part of at, at of the at command is one or two digits for hours, and um, like for example, zero four and four both mean four o'clock in the morning, or and so that would be exactly four o'clock for uh, the four o'clock and zero minutes, or you can use four digits. That's two digits for hours and two digits for months so for example and you don't use the colon so don't use that it'll mess up the hat you just use 0811481 a.m. you can also specify words like noon or midnight things like that so Unix assumes a 24 hour clock and so unless you specify a.m. or p.m. Um, um, use a 24-hour clock format. So, for example, 8 p.m. you should use 2011. Um, so, 2011 for uh, 8, 11 p.m. Okay, so besides the time, you also need the date. Uh, if you're running it today, you can, you know, before midnight, you can still use today. I believe I haven't checked this, but if I believe if you want to try midnight, ooh, you might have to check that. Try it out. I'm not going to wait till midnight. Um, you can also say the specific day of the week. You can say a specific date, like September 18, for example. So these are some nice 
sample so you can try out I'm not guess I'm guessing that no one is going to use the live DVD to run things that are going to run a long way in the future so I'm guessing you will probably run for run this roughly about a few minutes from when you start so although you can do run jobs at 4 a.m. tomorrow sure yeah you can do that with a live DVD it's just that most people don't run their live DVD for that long okay so if you were to just run this I don't think you will see the output and what will happen is you probably won't see anything at all the way it's set up in the live DVD ordinarily the output should go to a file in slash var slash uh, something but I think it's much better to just redirect the output of the commands that you're going to run in the future right here so specify if you're going to sort a big file specify that the output should go to a file in your local file system that's probably the best thing to do okay you can also use input redirection of course so say at noon Wednesday and run the command mailx to this user David and take the input from memo so you can send mail at a future time if you if you had mail set up okay you can also execute the at command with a command file that's a list of commands and then hit return that's just like typing all of the contents of command file at the prompts that we saw so what I could have done was I could have said cmnds ls minus l to ls dot out pwd append that to ls dot out control d this we're done and we can say find out the time 605 so I will say at 1807 today and I can get the commands from this file okay oh I should just say that uh, we get this warning that's saying that commands will be executed using slash bin slash sh which is the dash shell not the bash shell so you do have to watch out for that if you're running scripts okay so now I'll say at minus C and so it should oh at minus C2 okay so if I say at minus C2, that's the job number, and I got the job number from right after I started the job. So I said at 6.07 p.m. today, execute the commands in this file, which is just ls minus l and pwd. And so here is where I got the two from. It says job number two. This is only the second thing I've run today and so what I can do is I can say at minus C but don't just say hit return you have to specify the job number so, so this says give me the information about job number two and it gives you a ton of stuff more than the book shows you and so these are all the environment variables and of course we have a ton of environment variables and so what this suggests, this should su suggest to you, is that um, you can use all these environment variables in your, um, in your list of commands. Okay.